A woman in Canada accused by her former clients of neglecting and abusing several dogs there has offered to care for dogs here in Knoxville. In this 10 Investigate story, 10 News anchor Shay Smith ran across some graphic posts online and started looking into a woman named Jessica Kippen. What'd you find, Shay? Yeah, John, so this story starts more than 700 miles away in Ontario. Two Canadian women tell me at least two dogs died in the care of Jessica Kippen. And as I speak, there's an open investigation into what happened at her home in Canada. That's being led by Provincial Animal Welfare Services. While that's going on, she has moved to Knoxville and a man she lives with has posted on a popular dog care app, Rover. We also want to make it clear, though, she has not been charged with any crimes here in Knox County or in Canada. After she was at Jessica's house um, uh, in her care for that week, we had to put her down. The accusations of animal abuse date back to 2021 in Ontario when Michelle Schindel left her dog Jetta with Jessica Kippen. Jetta had been diagnosed with a brain tumor but was still expected to live for a couple more years as long as she took her medication. She said all the right things that, you know, she takes them for walks. They have a lot of backyard space to play. But when the family went to pick up their beloved dog, Jetta was not the same loving and charismatic girl they dropped off. She basically escalated what was what was coming, not giving her her meds and starving her and dehydrating her and um, basically leaving us with the most anxious, terrified dog. Michelle says when they brought her back home, she drank two bowls of water, stood in the corner and shook. Michelle says Jetta's medicine bottles were returned, chewed up and missing dozens of pills. Four months later, they had to put Jetta down. That's not the only dog pet owners say may have suffered at the hands of Jessica Kippen. Carla Ongaro from Ontario says one day she picked up her two dogs from Jessica's house and one of them had to be rushed to the vet after spending the week at Kippen's. I said to her, what did you do to my dog? She said, nothing. I said, what did you do to him? She said, oh, I think he just overdid it. Stormy's vet records and lab results show he tested positive for streptococcus and E. coli. They were horrified when I brought him in at the condition of him just at a first glance. Stormy was covered in sores from his eye, all over his face, in his mouth, all under his body, on his legs. It took Stormy several days to recover. Cassandra Almeida sent her two dogs to Kippen Cares in June, which was the last time she saw her rescue dog, Sammy, alive. She said that Sammy wasn't right. So I called her and I was like, hey, okay, so what do you mean Sammy's not right? She said Sammy's having a really hard time breathing. And about 15 minutes after I'd started driving, she called and said that Sammy had stopped breathing. Cassandra's boyfriend picked Sammy's body up from Jessica's. He shared that she was already in rigor mortis by the time he got there. Something in my in my gut was just telling me, like, dig deeper. Jenny Wynn Monroe dropped Cartello and her other dog off at Jessica's on June 15th, 2024. Jenny Wynn says Jessica called her early the next morning and said Cartello had died. Jenny Wynn says she went inside of Jessica's home to pick up his body. The condition of the house was super dirty, um, very filthy. The bathroom was soaking wet and there was a ton of like empty bleach bottles everywhere. Jenny Wynn says there was no air conditioning or a fan where her dogs were being kept. She says Jessica eventually took her to where she was keeping Cartello's body. When um, she removes everything, she opens up the freezer and there's my dog in her freezer just frozen. The two deaths sparked outrage and protests in Ontario. This is video of a protest at Jessica's house in Canada. A former employee of Jessica's sent me a complaint letter along with photos she sent to Provincial Animal Welfare Services, or PAWS. The letter details the alleged abuse and neglect dogs faced while staying with Kippen. PAWS confirmed to me that Jessica is under investigation and the Hamilton Police Department confirmed PAWS's investigation into the alleged animal abuse. The city of Hamilton also sent me a list of administrative penalties Jessica was given between 2021 and 2023, including failed where animal kept to be clean and sanitary and operating without a license. There's no laws about this. Animals are viewed as property. They're not viewed as living creatures that can be 
um, associated with like criminal charges in this sense. But what does a Canadian woman under investigation for alleged animal abuse have to do with Knoxville? Well, people have been hanging up signs across the street from a Knoxville house that Jessica's believed to be boyfriend owns. Her boyfriend's father told Knoxville police that someone hung up signs stating his son and Jessica were dog killers, a Knoxville Police Department report states. According to the police report, the father also said Kippen was under investigation in Canada for alleged animal abuse. I also spoke to a Knoxville woman who told me a woman named Jessica approached her about dropping her dogs off to be cared for at the home her boyfriend owns. She says Jessica also gave her a business card for Heller Homestead with a phone number. A check of the business online shows it's the same address as Jessica's boyfriend's house. An account on Rover, a popular dog walking website, appeared to originate in the same location as that home. Reviews on that account mention a woman named Jess. That account has since been deleted. I asked Rover if any accounts associated with Jessica Kippen and her boyfriend have been disabled or banned. A spokesperson says when we learned these individuals intentionally circumvented our review processes, we quickly removed their profiles and are taking additional steps to ensure they are unable to rejoin our community. Now, I used the phone number that was on the Howler Homestead business card and online, and I called and texted Jessica Kippen to get her side of this story. She texted back saying she did not want her words twisted and would appreciate it if I left it be. I told her I do want to give her the chance to respond to these allegations being made against her, and she never replied. Jessica Kippen, again, has not been charged with any crimes or wrongdoing here in Knox County. John. Shay Smith on the story and the Canadian TV. TV station you spoke to also reported some connections. Explain that. Yeah, so CHCH, that's a TV station in Canada, and they reported that the Hamilton police laid an assault charge on one woman after Kippen was confronted by a group outside of her home, and two people were charged with breaking and entering at that property. We'll continue to follow it. Anchor Shay Smith on the story.